Who do you think is worse on the roads? I can guess the answer to this. Cyclists or drivers? Who's the more inconsiderate? Well, cyclists don't need insurance. Car drivers do because they name, kill and injure. OK, criminal lawyer Nick Freeman, I'll bring you into it now. What do you think? Do you think that that's a bit of a misconception? Well, look, I think cyclists are inconsiderate. I concede, of course, they do far less damage as, as a rule. Of course they do. But in terms of consideration, they can basically cycle with impunity, with no idea who's on a cycle at any one time. Uh, so they're not accountable. They don't cycle responsibly. They go through red lights. They break the law all the time, and they have very little regard um, for motorists who contribute massively, as you pointed out, um, to the finance of our roads. So, of course, driving in a car or a lorry or van is potentially far more dangerous, um, but cyclists are causing problems, not only with motorists in terms of the way they drive, um, but of course they're not, they're not um, restricted by a speed limit, for example, so you get the ridiculous situation that in London, cars are sitting at 20 miles an hour and cyclists are cycling oh. at 25 miles an hour and not, not breaking the law. They don't have a drink drive limit, they don't have a drug drive limit, they have offences of you know, being unfit. And the legislation that currently exists for cyclists is so out of date. So okay. you know, when you have that, the strange scenario when someone's killed, you're bringing in very anachronistic legislation with a maximum sentence of two years to deal with it. Okay. So, you know. All right, I'll just, I'll just bring, I'll, I'll bring Dave back in now, the cycling vigilante. Dave, why don't cyclists just have number plates so that when you go through a red light or you are speeding or things like that, then you can get a fine as well? Is cycling just an excuse to break the law? No, I've seen police on Oxford Street um, giving out fixed penalty notices and fines to cyclists for jumping red lights. So, don't need a number plate, just need an officer at the roadside to stop and detain and then gather the um, details to send the fine to. Drivers have um, to deal with numbers. Sorry, just quickly, because dri drivers have to deal with the fact that they've got a number plate and there are cameras. If you haven't got a number plate, unless an officer, a Bobby on the beat, who, let's be honest, is probably chasing a stabbing around the Oxford Street area to begin with, decides to stop a cyclist, then you just get away with it, don't you? Well, this is it. The thing is... Motorists know they are the cash cows, they are the easy targets and, you know, you've got to pay your road tax, your insurance, your UZ, congestion charge, MOT, you know. Cyclists don't admit an emission, not required to have insurance because they're less likely to cause or an injury or name or damage anyone or property. So, you know... Okay. Oh, sorry for motorists because they are victimised and... Um, Milt. <laughs>